the 2019 legislative session begins, a new senator has been elected to preside over the Senate. Joining me now is Senate President Jeremy Miller. Welcome. Thank you very much. Let's start with a little history. Prior to 1973, the lieutenant governor served as Senate president. But since then, now presidents are elected from within the Senate body, and you will be the 12th senator to preside over the Senate. What does that mean to you? Uh, well, first, it's, it's an absolutely uh, just a true honor to be elected as president of the Senate. Uh, us as members of the Senate, it's truly a, a privilege that not very many Minnesotans get that opportunity to serve in the Minnesota Senate and now to be elected the Senate president uh, is, is truly an honor for me. For those who don't closely follow state government, what exactly is the role of the Senate president? Sure, so the, the more public or the visible role of the Senate president is presiding over the Senate and uh, maintaining order and decorum uh, within the Senate chamber when we're debating uh, the business for the day, whether that be bills or resolutions or whatever that particular business is. We also have to uh, know our parliamentary uh, uh, procedures, so I've been uh, practicing on that. And then there are some administrative roles or more behind the scenes or inside baseball uh, roles of the Senate. The Senate president is considered an, an officer of the Senate, so they work closely with the Secretary's office as well as the Sergeant at Arms. Uh, the Senate President also uh, is very involved in referring bills to committees. So when bills are introduced in the Senate, uh, the President's office uh, makes sure that those bills are referred to the proper committees. So you get to have the gavel and you get to basically kind of be the face of the Senate in terms of starting and ending proceedings and, and just kind of overseeing the business of the day. Is that right? Yeah, that's for better or worse. Uh, yes, uh, yes, that is correct. So when you were first elected to the Senate, Jim Metzen, a long-serving DFLer with strong friendships on both sides of the aisle, was the Senate president. Are there any qualities to his leadership style that you hope to emulate? Well, it's interesting that you asked that question, and, and I actually brought up uh, Senator Metzen in my speech on the Senate floor uh, when I accepted the position of president after I was elected. And uh, Senator Metzen, from day one, my first day here in the Senate, took me underneath his wing and really helped teach me the importance of being a good statesman and an and a effective legislator. And for that, I'm, I'm forever grateful for uh, Senator Metzen being in my life. We certainly uh, miss him as he passed away a, a couple of years ago, uh, but he has played a, a significant role in helping me become the legislator that I am today. Well, and he was kind of a colorful character with lots of nicknames for people. Do you want to do a little bit of that? Well, uh, I'm not sure if I want to do the, the nicknames, but I do remember <laughs> he'd always uh, come to me and he'd say, meet at Miller's. Uh, that was uh, sort of my uh, nickname from, from Senator Metzen. But no, just a, a class act and had good quality relationships on, on both sides of the aisle. So let's also talk about Senator Michelle Fishbach, who was our last Senate president. She resigned in May to become lieutenant governor, and then now she's retired. She was known for bringing some jocularity to the role, to uh, you know, ribbing people gently here and there, and, and debate can get heated, and she was known for her ability to kind of handle that. How will you, have you thought about how you want to handle when tensions really rise during debate and to try to keep some level-headedness going in the chamber? Sure, uh, Senator Fishbach was a, was a wonderful Senate president, and um, I'm sure I will share some of the qualities that she had as Senate President, and some will probably be different. At this point, I think it's a little too early for me to say how I will handle those situations, but uh, I want to be fair, and I'm committed to uh, being the best Senate President that I can to uh, maintain that order and decorum on the Senate floor in a, in a fair and respectful manner. Well, and certainly you will grow into the role as time goes on. How have you been preparing? You mentioned parliamentary procedure. Is it like a rule book that you've got to study? Is it, I mean, does it make your head spin with all of it? Or how are you preparing for that? So it's interesting. This is my ninth year in the Senate, and uh, I was aware and have read the Senate rules and the joint rules, and I've opened up the, the Mason's uh, book of uh, parliamentary procedure a few times, but not, nothing like I have over the last uh, month and a half or so. I've been doing a lot of studying, watching a lot of uh, videos from uh, previous floor sessions as it's very important to me to uh, visualize and prepare for this role, and I've been doing everything I can to, to help prepare myself to be the best Senate president I can and 
represent the, the Senate the best I can. Finally, in 2013, you were the Republican founder of the Purple Caucus, which was a bipartisan effort to work across the aisle. How will those prior efforts at bipartisanship inform your role as the Senate president? Well, I think those uh, characteristics of the Purple Caucus are going to be extremely important. I was brought up and I learned the values of hard work and respect and honesty from my parents and my dad especially taught me the importance of developing really good, really strong relationships. And that was really the intent of the Purple Caucus. Let's have members of the Senate, Democrats and Republicans, sit down around the table, get to know each other, develop those relationships. And uh, Senator Roger Reinhart and I uh, really worked hard in doing that. And I think we were very successful in a lot of the relationships that developed as a result of that Purple Caucus uh, still remain strong today. Uh, so as a, a member of the Senate representing the constituents that I have the great honor of representing in southeastern Minnesota and serving in the role as Senate President, I will continue to uh, work very hard to develop those relationships and ultimately try to do what's best for the people in the state of Minnesota. Is there any one thing that um is daunting to you about being the Senate president? Or is it something that you just, you're, you're excited to, to take on the challenge? Is there anything you're worried about? Uh, nothing that I'm worried about. I think I'm just more excited and looking forward to the, the challenges and the opportunities that are ahead. And I feel like I've prepared myself. I will absolutely uh, have some stumbles along the way. There's no doubt about it. But uh, as long as I learn from those stumbles, learn from those mistakes, and uh, become a better Senate president, I think, uh, I'll do a nice job at, uh, at uh, this position. President Jeremy Miller, I want to thank you so much for your time today. Thank you very much for having me.